Hello and welcome, my name is Frank Fischer and in this video I want to show you how to use the Visual Studio Code extension of DeepCode. Um, for that I have obviously Visual Studio Code here, I already installed the extension. If you haven't done so, there is another video showing you how to do this. It's quite easy, it takes a few minutes and you're done. And to show you um, what Visual Studio Code extensions of DeepCode can do for you, I actually have a little uh, demo application. So this is it. Um, it's a Node.js application using Express and a bit of a MongoDB in the background. And it's uh, like a log viewer. So you see the nodes here. Um, I can click on it and then I see the logs of the different nodes. So whatever I click, I see the different nodes here. So the application itself runs, there is no direct error, um, but let's see what deep code can make out of it. So to do so, I open this folder and this is the folder of it. So we open it and in the second it is opened, um, you can see that the JavaScript and TypeScript is starting up, but also deep code was starting up, as you can see in the lower right here. Um, and here we have now three problems being listed. Let's make this a bit bigger and you can see there are three problems, but all of them are actually from deep code. So if I go in here and type something, you see the other linters are already working behind the scenes. So ESLint is working here, JSHint is working, um, but none of them found the bugs that uh, deep code was finding. Okay, so what is DeepCode uh, talking about here? So number one, this is a suggestion and it says uh, X powered by header should be changed because it exposes information about the use framework and potential attacks. And this is one of the interesting aspects of DeepCode. It argues why um, these problems are of importance and why you should address these importance. Um, another thing that it says is promises should be catched and what we can do is we can click on it and it brings us to where the problem exists and as you can see here there's a collection find then so I'm using promises here but as you can see I'm only providing one function so there's no error handling there's no catch function and this is obviously a bad style I should have an error handler here um, so this is missing true um, this is a suggestion, but this here is even more important. You can see it on the red cross. Um, it's an error. Uh, let's see what the error says. I click on it and it brings me there and it says unsanitized input flows directly from an HTTP parameter and is used in a SQL query. This may result in SQL injection vulnerability. And SQL injection vulnerabilities are like uh, an evergreen in, uh, in uh, web security. So what you can see here, when I um, go in the code, you see uh, really I, I'm using a part of the query, um, especially the node element of the query, so this parameter, um, and assign it to a variable. And later down here, I use this variable to send it to um, the MongoDB um, directly as a quote. And this is obviously not sanitized. This is a bad style. I should sanitize this and clear it out. So what I wanted to show you here was um, the differences between what local linters do for you and what deep code can do for you. And also um, how easy it is to use a deep code extension within your projects um, as it is simply embedded into Visual Studio Code and helps you in the background automatically. Thanks for watching, but now it's your turn. Go to deepcode.ai, set up an account and see what deep code can do for your code.